All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? We are back in Final Fantasy 16 once more. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump straight back into the good old um, the good old cutscene that we were doing in the previous episodes. Yeah, hope you enjoy. So you arrived late to one of her cullings, did you? Since becoming Viserine, Annabella has been a constant thorn in Rosaria's side, but these atrocities are a new low. Something has changed. Quite what? I don't know, but the woman we knew is gone, and a monster sits in her place. A monster? For better or worse, I've been charged with governing this town, and thus must maintain the illusion of obedience. That's all I can do to aid Wade and his merry band of revolutionaries. So he's told us. You have risked much for Rosaria. Our nation will be forever in your debt. It has been 20 years, Clive. The nation your father and your forefathers fought to defend is no more. Perhaps it would be otherwise had I the courage of my brother. Right, if it's a ship you require, a ship you shall have. I have a galley in port, but recently relieved of her cargo. She can be outfitted for the voyage in a matter of weeks. So you believe us, then? About everything? Believe you? Ha! Only a fool would believe even half of the things you claim. Until tonight, only a fool would have believed my nephew still lived. <laughs> Besides, I have it on good authority that Clive is telling the truth. Whose authority? By your own, of course. You've always been a terrible liar. Is that true? It's not uh, untrue. Let's say no more about it, eh? It wouldn't do to linger on my nephew's greatest failing. <laughs> the one thing I cannot believe, though, is all this about you being Sid. You were always such a good boy. But now you're quite the outlaw. Which, if I'm not mistaken, would make me an outlaw's uncle. <laughs> Why then, who shall we pillage first? Rutherford, fetch me my cutlass. <laughs> this will be oh, fun. Oh, speaking of which, sorry, uh, active time lore, we can check out Rutherford right here. I haven't even seen him yet, I don't think. Um, but yeah, <clears throat> seems nice. <laughs> it's like a butler butler figure or whatever uh obviously feel free to pause to read any of this stuff if you want um not not a bad idea of course all right and let's jump back into it oh that ship looks nice can I have that ship, please? In real life. For me. <laughs> Go on. She's a fine ship, isn't she? Once outfitted, she'll bear us across the boiling sea to Drustinus in the space of three days. Something on your mind? monsters when I served the Iron Kingdom I, I did so because I saw no other choice because once they learned that the lash would not move me they turned it on those who could So I became their puppet. I let them pull my strings, telling myself it was not my hand that swung the sword, but another's. 
I removed myself from the truth so I wouldn't feel the pain it caused. And before I knew it, I no longer felt anything, anything at all. I had become a monster. Jill. I don't want to be a monster, Clyde. Do you understand? I want to choose a different path, a better path. To live on my own terms. But before I can do that, I need to come to terms with my past. you do I'll be standing there with you just as you stood with me thank you Clive I must atone for my sins only then when it's done will the monster cease to be sure but why don't I just help you with that real fast? I die with it. Now, let's get some sleep. The journey back to Benamir is long, and there is much to tell the others. All right, return to the hideaway. <clears throat> oh, hello. All right, nice. We've got those, obviously. And yeah, let's let's head back to the hideaway then. Without further ado, here be monsters. Yar. Found the knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom, but Vivian can probably make an educated guess. Vivian, okay. So I'll speak to Vivian then. Um, so the new missive, something or other, and then a new quest is available. Obviously, there's lots of stuff we can check. Um, Yvonne Kitchen, what's this? Oh, feel free to read that if you want. Um, kitchen hand. Uh, I mean, I'm still. I'm gonna try to focus. Lady I'm gonna try to f focus on the main quests for now. Um, like I said, if you guys want to see me do some more side quests and stuff, and I'm kind of interested, then I might do that. But for now, yeah, we're just gonna chill a little bit. The oath. I think we got another one, didn't we? Yeah, it's over here. E. There we go. Ambrosia's tack. All right, and then let's make sure everything's up to date here as well. Got more missives. All right, and then this one from Wade, and then this one from Gav. All right, they're at a standoff. That's probably good for us. Uh, what else is there? What's the plus symbol exactly? I don't remember. I, that's how I got my chocobo back. So could be like a large thing. Speaking of which, uh, really fast, let me double check if we can put any skins on um, our girl Ambrosia here. Rosarian gold. Oh yeah, dude. That looks so cool. Uh, looks like we still only have the icy blue or whatever. That's good. Snow White's good, but um, I might go back to normal for a bit. That's a good plan. And then we've still got just these two, which are perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, I think I think we'll keep all of that what uh, done just like that, and let's continue on. Right over here. Can't call. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. Can't call my chocobo, sadly, but that's okay. Speak of the Vivian. 
Let me double check some of this stuff real quick though. Never hear about these guardians of the there are new billets being August. Never heard about we should probably so talk to him. It's probably gonna be important, but I don't know. Oh Clive! Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has a toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. <laughs> I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? I would. Um, let's see. Ask about Desiree. Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at the Whisper, Otto has piled countless tasks, or other tasks, uh, from transcribing and sorting Stolas reports to pinning needful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mind. I enjoy writing. I have ever since I learned my letters from Jara back in the old hideaway. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. That honor goes to Shirley. Still. I like to think Jara would be proud of me, too, were he with us today. All right. Ask about the five years. They live on in others, and if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Jara, in our last des lesson before Titan came. It stayed with me ever since his passing, and inspired me to become what I am today. I imagine we survivors all have a story like that, of someone who remains with us even though they're gone. Alright, let's listen to the patron's whisper. Here's everything we've received, and everything promised. Alright, the page is whisper. Completing side quests or defeating notorious, notorious marks will earn Clive renown. Uh, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Uh, visit Desiree at the Patreon's Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown level and accept any donations available. Renown is not used upon accepting donations and will never diminish. Alright. Uh, okay. Talk of the Tea House. Great contents. Gather together several items of worth you might find. Oh, nice. Heartstruck heart Dowager. Ooh. Just click. Oh, we hold it. Okay. Well, Accept donation. Nice. And then Ta. Oh, no, that's the same one. We just I did. that one. You do. <laughs> uh, respect. In order, our order is one built on pride. It's not we are too proud of give thanks for thanks. It's too many. Of, we may have failed Martha once, but never again. The blood axes. All right. You Appreciate this. it. And it looks like we get a. Right out of 85, we get that. Also, we are pretty close to that already, actually. And then expand renown to unlock. Mardition donation will become upon receiving a renown of rating of 100. Cool. Yeah, I might do that. We'll see. Um, gods. What does this guy do again? Ah, the alliance stuff. Quick look. Available tasks. None, actually, over there. Oh, okay. Always something in there. That's all right. Um... Let's talk to the board here real fast. Nectar or whatnot. What's the matter, Nectar? The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? <laughs> right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already, but with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Speaking of which, I should visit the blacksmith. Alright, cool. <laughs> so we can view the hunt board, we can ask about it and everything. We can ask about his adventures. Alright, so yeah, this is kind of like, okay, the hunt board. Reports of fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted to the hunt board in hopes that their, that fearless heroes such as Clive will take up it upon themselves to hunt down and slay notorious marks. So yeah, uh, I think I might actually go ahead and do this. We already did this one. What? Sus. That's fine, though. 
Um, let's do, ooh, that one's pretty, pretty handsome reward. Don't mind if I do. The Angel of Death. Is this just a, a dude? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, so it just says where they are, right? Okay. But interesting, yeah. I mean, I already, I already did kill the Ahriman, or however you, however you pronounce that. But it doesn't look like we can click on that. Um, it's fine, though. I'm sure we could find it if we wanted to. Um, quickly, let's talk to this guy, and then we'll talk to Vivian right after. What's up, August? Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackford. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. Look, normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's getting him down. And whatever it is, he ain't telling. It's like he's lost his spark, you know? He's barely got enough fire in his belly to get the ump about stuff. But I'm thinking he might if we both bent his ear, because he respects you, innit? So, what'd you say? Uh, if you think it'll help. I... If you think it will help. I knew you'd understand. But if he doesn't want to talk, we let him be. We'll open up when he's ready. All right. Ooh, now, maybe we get. He'll only smell a rat if we both turn up at once. So I'll go first, and you can meet us at the forge. Wait a bit, then head over when you're ready. Quest accepted. Blacksmith's blues. Yeah, so maybe we'll get up, like upgrade the blacksmith here or something. That would be cool. All right, uh, let's let's do it. Let's talk with talk with Blackthorn. We should probably have talked with Vivian, but it's fine. <laughs> we'll come back to her in a minute anyway. It'll be all right. Oh, I'm stuck. There we go. I think it's right through here. Last August, and now you. What you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What do you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. Will shut you up. It's nothing really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you'd bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. I should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now every time I reach for my hammer, I'm reminded that I'm not the craftsman I thought I was. There. You happy? You got what you came for. Now piss off. All right. We're going. Oh, that's okay, buddy. You're good. You're a good blacksmith. Come on. You made all these cool weapons for me. Among other things. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of ale. Didn't think anything could rattle him. Least of all a stupid piece of leather. Blackthorn's always taken pride in his craft. Questioning it means questioning himself. Something tells me this is only going to get worse. If he has doubts, it will affect his work, which will only add to his problems. We need to nip this in the bud. I couldn't agree more. He said he should have bought that cuirass. Perhaps we should track it down for him. Assuming you're happy to help, that is. Too bloody right I am. Glad to hear it. First things first, then. We need to speak to Karen. Sure. Uh, 
real fast, actually. Let me go ahead and talk to him for some blacksmithing stuff real quick. Uh, alright. This isn't really what I need. Uh, how about this stuff? Anything better than what I have? It doesn't look like it. That's alright. <clears throat> how about reinforcing equipment? Could do the guy a blade. But it's not going to be better than what we ha what the we already have, so eh. Alright, we're good, I think. Uh, let's talk to Karen. Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened to cross him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He don't trust hunters neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working their hides. I see. <laughs> he did tell me some of it, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hunt board. The curse breakers were placing bets on who'd bag it. Now, where the bleeding hell was it sighted? Somewhere in Sambrek, maybe. Care Northern, that was it. Thank you, Karen. We'd be lost without you. At least you admit it. <laughs> so, it sounds like going after that griffin might be the best chance we have of finding our roaming leather worker. I'll leave the hunting to you if you don't mind. While you get on with that, I'll ask around the markets. See if I can't sniff out who he is and where he's hiding. Good idea. Hopefully one of us will be able to track him down. All right, uh, use the hunt board to locate the griffin. Let's do it real fast. We can do this side quest. Um, I think it'll be very useful to us to do it. Uh, plus, these like plus icons that aren't just like the quest side quest icons are like even better than just regular side quests. So as far as I can tell, because I mean, the last one I was on, I got the chocobo and that was the first time we could, could use a chocobo. Uh, ask about griffin sightings. Dolzmare, all right. Aha, here we go, it's a new one actually. I thought it was gonna be talking about this one for a second, but I was like, that's a dragon, not a griffin. Okay, so yeah, Karen Orvin, Westgate, Sandbrick. Okay, uh, let's do it then. Karen Orvin, where is that again? It's over here, isn't it? Uh, that's not Westgate, though, is it? I don't think so. That is Kieran Norvent, though. But that's fine. Southeastern. How do we find the Westgate, though? Uh, actually, let me double check. But I'm not missing anything. Yeah, south. No, 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 this one. Yeah, Cairn Orvent, Westgate, and Sandbrick. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to find, but we'll see, I guess. All right, let's head there then real fast. Let's try to go this one because it's the only one that says Cairn Orvent. Westgate, though, is where I need to go. So, west would be over here somewhere. Okay, no event. Aha, river gate. But that's not west gate. Where would we Oh, west watch, maybe? East watch. Okay, no 
Prevent Westgate. Hmm. I don't know, to be honest. Penitence Gate, Unnamed Chapel, Baywatch, Westwatch, possibly. I don't know, to be honest. Um, North Reach. I mean, West would be over here, right? But this is Norvent, so maybe it would be N Norvent Valley? Because it's a Care Norvent. Rivergate, I don't know. Westgate, where would that be? Use the hunt board to locate the griffin. Hmm. I am not sure, to be honest, guys. Um, Cairn or event. I said it's Westgate. Use the hunt board to locate the griffin. Hmm. Would it be over here then? Or would it be like up here possibly? Let's try up here maybe. <clears throat> There's talk that the glass is You know what? Let's try down here, actually. I think this is probably where it is. Let's try down here. Because it says Norvent, right? So, yeah. Let's try that. Good day to you. Uh, which way am I headed? I need to go straight and then left. Okay. Right? This way? No, no, no. This way. Yep, and then kind of take a little bit right here in a second. Uh, is it through there? Or up here? I feel like it's up here. Does this look right? Yeah, this is the right way. Okay, cool. Alright, this should be the way to go. Uh, she would actually, but it's fine. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, look at her. She's awesome. Run like the wind. Alright, yeah, so we're going to go all the way over to this river gate over here. I'm down to just pass them by. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> oh, that isn't it, is it? Dragon Avis. No, I don't think so. Carla Boss. Gilberg, ooh, nice. Some free money. How much further? Not much further. We're almost there. <coughs> Easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew. True. Uh... Should I be going to the actual gate, or is it around here somewhere? Thanks, girl. Oh. 
Auto dismounted. Aha! Let's go. All right, nice. Dolzmer, or however you say that. Rank B. Stacker. There we go. And the break. Nice. That's some good stagger damage for sure. Stagger should be able to take him out this time, but we'll see. Might not have enough time, we'll see. Mark slain. All right, sweet. We got a unique item here as well. What do we think? It also gives me 20 more renown. Yep, there we go. Scarlet Titan. I think that's a unique at least. Pretty cool. Maybe that'll give us like a new weapon or something. We'll see. To craft. All right. Something that boy. Probably. He looks in the bad way, though. The wounded Tanner. You all right? Yeah. Yes, I will survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker. If you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? Sir, she's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund. It's not her who sent me. Consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art. And not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Actually... I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. 
And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. <laughs> I'd say it's the least I can do. Fair, fair. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Alright, sweet. A bit of a longer episode, I know, but I wanted to get the side quest out of the way without having to go through a whole extra episode. <clears throat> uh, Alright, treated a lot there. There we go. Let's go ahead and head back to him, finish out this quest, and we'll go ahead and call it there and speak to Vivian in the next part. And with a bit of luck, Clive might even find the geezer. Bloody busybodies, the both of you. All right, uh, let's go ahead and talk to him. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. He wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. I wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive. You didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many leather workers in the realm daft enough to do their own hunting, see? And his name kept cropping up when I was asking around. Turns out, he's from Tabor. Then again, most leather workers are. But our friend Camille guards a long-held family secret, the details of which are the subject of some debate in the leather-working community. Then we better keep this close to our chests. Listen, sorry for putting the both of you to all that trouble. Should have kept my moaning to myself. Still, I'm glad you found him. This has cheered me right up. That was the idea. Clive's idea, anyway. He did most of the work. It's good to have you back, Blackthorn. Just don't expect me to go turning out work like this. There's Dang a it. reason he does his own hunting. <laughs> he knows exactly what eyes to look for. And that's how he gets them to layer up so nicely. And don't get me started on how much oiling this leather would need. But I reckon I can make something about as good. Something a curse breaker will have no trouble caring for. Anyway, enough narrowing. I've got work to be getting on with. For sure. Looks like we won't be needing a new blacksmith. As if there was a better one out there. <laughs> that wouldn't have been the same anyway. No one spins a yarn like old Blackthorn in his cups. <laughs> right, now that's sorted. I've got duties to attend to. Thanks, Clive. You've given me my mate back. Class complete. Nice. Oh, we got 10 extra right now, and on top of that, sweet. Uh, Drake Slayer gear design draft. Necessary for crafting Drake Slayer gear. Diagram detailing the steps to craft a belt and van riches fit for here. Oh. That's interesting. So, Drake Slayer gear recipes unlocked. So, yeah, I did unlock something interesting. So, is that for at the blacksmith then? Let me check it out real fast. Oh, hold up. Design drafts. You have obtained the design draft for Drake Slayer gear. Uh, design drafts unlock new crafting options at the black armor. Yep, nice. Physic platform, blackthorn. Okay, material requirements. So maybe we have to get materials first, but let me check. What do you want? Uh, I want some Drake Slayer gear. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh, so we do need Electrum. Okay, 
But that is like way better than what we have, I think. So that's cool. Drake's bracelets, yeah, I really want these. Gelatinous mass, okay. Other than that though, I think we're, I think we're good, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, let me talk to him about the, the stuff. Wait, how what? How do we? Sorry, what it be? How do we get that stuff? I don't waste my time. You ain't got the stuff. Electrum. And. Hmm. What do you need? I don't know. I guess. I guess I'll find that stuff uh, later. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna go ahead and end here. I appreciate it once more, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. All right, peace.